Etic Beer 40k is going live. Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Right, today I want to talk about going live. Before that though, if you would like to keep up to date with the wonders of Warhammer 40k, then please give me a sub and hit the bell button so you don't miss an upload. Okay, so let's have a chat about going live here on YouTube. This is something that I've been wanting to do for quite some time now, but never really got around to it. Now the main reason for that, apart from the computer side of things, uh, is that I haven't really had enough confidence. Now that may sound ridiculous. Hey Nick, you've got over 2,000 videos. Why do you not have any confidence? Well, it's very, very scary going live rather than making a video where you've pre-recorded it, you've edited it. If you make a mistake, you can start again. And if you make a mistake, you can just start again. And of course, when you're live, you literally have no control of that. And of course, you've got to have the content and the ability to talk in a live show for a good amount of time. Now, obviously, on some shows, you may not necessarily get any participants so that means you could get some dead spaces where you've literally got to talk to yourself and I don't know how confident I am at that so what I decided to do is an experiment and almost practice if go live on my Facebook page the Wargamers Unification Facebook page now if you haven't heard of my Facebook page yet then I seriously urge you to check it out it's called Idic Beer 40k Wargamers Unification. It's well worth checking out. We've got over 400 members. We're talking hobby. We're talking YouTube. We're advising each other. We're supporting each other. We have a list of all the members YouTube channels for people to check out, maybe subscribe to. And now we've got an even bigger reason for you guys to come and join us because I am going to be going live on the page. Now I went live last week for the first time, pretty impromptu, I just literally decided, hey, I'm gonna do it. And I was on there for about 45 minutes. I had a lot of fun, I did actually really enjoy it. We had a slight technical problem towards the end with the sound, but we got a good half an hour of a show. And I was really surprised how much I enjoyed it, but I think part of that enjoyment was the fact that I felt a little bit more secure on the Facebook page rather than going out to the big wide world of YouTube. Everyone in the Facebook page is really nice and friendly. So I certainly got a lot of confidence from that first live show and I enjoyed it enough to know that at some point I want to go live on YouTube. However, I want the YouTube to be a good value show, i.e. the content to be good and worthwhile you watching. Rather than on Facebook, I'm just practicing at the moment. I want to lock down a format for the show itself. Now on the Facebook live show I'm just using my laptop with the laptop camera and microphone but ideally when I go to YouTube I want to use my main camera with the main microphone and lighting. It means that I'm going to have to get a mains lead for the camera rather than just using battery. We don't want the battery running out on a live show. I've also got to sort out the software on the computer as well, the OBS which I need to download and work everything out. In the meantime, I'm going to continue practicing on Facebook and my next live show is going to be today, tonight at 9pm. So that is the 6th of March at 9pm UK time on the Wargamers Unification Facebook page. I'm going to have a chat about going live on YouTube in the future, what you would like to see, so if you've got any ideas, then come and join me on the live chat and we can discuss it. Beam me up.